You know, I love technology. It enables me to get so many things done more easily and more quickly. Maybe that comes as a surprise to you. I mean, after all, I teach at Eastwood Christian School. I teach Latin. I teach with chalk. Aren't I kind of anti-technology? Well, I'll admit, there's a difference between our view of technology and the prevailing modern educational view of technology. And that's because we see technology as a tool, not as a savior. You see, a lot of well-meaning schools, public, private, and even Christian schools, have bought into a philosophy that technology will somehow save us from the evils of the world. And that's why so many schools are in a race now to create a 21st century learning environment, to give every student an iPad, a tablet, a laptop, as if by simply holding these devices, they'll become educated and more virtuous. And the educational woes of the last 50 years will be solved. All of this stems from a prevailing humanist philosophy, which claims that technology will save us from ourselves. If we can just get everyone the technology they need, then they will become educated. They will teach themselves what they need to know. Oddly enough, this was what was said of televisions 30 years ago. If we could get a television in every classroom, students would become educated. But it didn't work. In essence, the perennial idea is that technology will save us. Technology is Jesus. You may be saying, David, you're being reactionary. That's overblown. But I'm serious. There are many scientists today who believe that technology will actually solve the problem of death. That we will be able to extend human life indefinitely through technological advancement. The more optimistic of these actually think that in less than 20 years we'll be able to upload our brains to computers and live a virtual eternal life. I'm not joking. I'm serious. But the reality of human history teaches us that technology, well, it can't save us. It only serves to magnify what's already in us. It can enable us to do great good or great evil because technology itself is amoral. It's just a tool. And as a tool, it enables us to do things. But it doesn't tell us whether we should do those things or not. And as with any tool, the more powerful the technology, the greater good or the greater harm it can do. Ultimately, I can use this reciprocating saw for destructive ends or to great benefit. Knowledge, wisdom, and virtue can help me to use technology for right, for just, for holy purposes. But ignorance, folly, and selfishness can lead me to use technology for evil, fruitless, and wicked purposes. Now, I'd never give something like the saw to my son without careful instruction and supervision and some sort of purpose behind its use because Without an underlying purpose, he might use it to a destructive end. I could see him destroying a lot of things around my house with it. He might even injure himself. And that's obvious to us. But oftentimes we're willing to give far more powerful technology to students without careful supervision or instruction. And then we're surprised to find them using it for not educational purposes, but for entertainment or for glorifying themselves or for generally wasting their time and talent. Even worse, we open them up to a world of deceptive and destructive thoughts and images without training them to discern the truth from the lie. And again, this is where we really differ from a secular humanist view of education. Eastwood Christian School believes that there is an absolute truth, not, the, not just the truth you discover, but there's absolute truth and there's an absolute purpose to all that we do. So do we use technology here at Eastwood? Oh, of course we do. I love being able to comment on a student's paper or answer a question in real time. I love being able to share links or documents with them to help them with, with their own education. I even use games to help reinforce things that we've learned in class, but left to their own devices, students don't naturally want to do this. So our goal at Eastwood is to provide them with the technology in a way that gives them guidelines and ensures that they're going to use technology to accomplish a goal. You would never give your child powerful tools like the saw without close guidance and supervision. In the same way, we don't give technology like a tablet, like the internet, without close guidance and supervision. Because we know that technology is a tool. It's not a savior.